always been fascinated by speed and the salmon arm quarter milers club is no exception as shown here in the Okanagan as you can see you can hear the roaring engines in the background as cars go up for the time trials here at the salmon arm international raceway you can see the pits here there's quite a few cars seems to be quite a bit of congestion right now and uh, as we pan through, you can see some of the different cars you'll be seeing later on today. And a very old coupe. Now that black coupe has a lot of power under the hood there, as, as seen earlier in the time trial. And you can see the tires spinning in there, they go, as you can see the coupe takes the lead. And he holds the lead all the way down the runway. And they call the Defender, number 902 from Kelowna. And there's a few more rails here of various types. This one here has the engine in front of the driver's seat with the driver's rail. There it goes now. A lot of power behind that car. Very 7.1 seconds for the Defender. That is one eighth of a mile. Here we have another rails. Same idea with the motor in front of the driver's seat. Number 901. Not quite as fast as the Defender. A little slower on the tail. Getting his engine wrapped up, he seems to be ready to go. Also pulling up to the starting line, we have a Swinger. Dodge Swinger. A, a, a newer model, as you can see, it sits slow on the back end. He must have quite a bit of weight back there to hold those tires down. Better traction when he takes off. Very close. The Nova SS takes a lead. That's a win. Here we have a newer model Dodge Dart. Also against another newer model 340 Dart. They both sound like very powerful cars. There is not much decision to be made there. Definitely by the white and red. This car is called the Disturbance, a very powerful car, and it has won many races at this raceway here in the seminar. A good reputation for its power. Moon Shadow has also done very well. And there again, there is, there is just not, not much you can say. 
this this little car is only going to have one run. This will be it now. He's pulling up to the starting line. A beautiful little car by Jess Turner of Camelot. As you can see, it has wheelie wheels on the back. Very wide racing slick. And there it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Not a very good run. Not a very good run at all for this exotic car. You people on the turn run, please move. Clear the area now. Here we have the first of the zero zeros, which is a stock small block engine. We have a Challenger and a Gremlin. No question about it, the Challenger takes the lead. I don't know whether you can see it on camera or not. There is a white light at the end to indicate the Challenger is taking the race. This is a 73 Duster. Look at the tire spin on that car. Here we have a Ford Arcadian and a, a new Z28 Camaro. Camaro seems to be having some kind of problems with his transmission. Must have missed a gear. However, he takes the lead in the end. And newer model Z28 takes the white light. Coming up to the line now. We have a newer model Swinger and a Plymouth Duster, which has a 340. Again, these are all small blocks. And as you can see, the lights are going on the Christmas tree lights. They're off. Quite a bit of smoke coming from the Duster. Very close. The smell of the smoke is about all you can smell around here right now. And it's just... What can I say? All over the place. The rubber from those tires is eating away the pavement. We have a small block Dodge pickup against a small block car, and the car takes the lead. We have a mid 70s black. As you can see, the starter on the line now is checking for seat belts and helmets done up, and they go for the lights. Corvette taking the lead. Seems to have quite a bit more power than a GMC pickup. I'm not exactly sure, ladies and gentlemen, whether this is a Dodge or a Plymouth. It is definitely a Charger. And we have a Dodge product called the Judge on the right-hand side. Waiting for the Christmas tree lights to go on. Look at the tire spin on that judge. I uh, verified that car is a coronet on the left, and he takes away. We have a Trans Am. We have a Trans Am going up against. Trans Am going up against the Chevelle here. A Chevelle takes an amazing lead over a Trans Am. Quite a bit of smoke from the tires of the Trans Am. Here we have a GMC pickup with a 454 engine in it. And a late model blue Cougar. These are both big block cars now. We're in the big block class. This pickup is a very powerful truck. We've seen it in the time trials. And the Christmas tree lights are on, they're off. Very even race. Very even. That is the Cougar has taken the lead. And he takes the white light at the end of the speedway. This is the 200 class. Which... All of these cars... And look at the smoke as someone, someone is doing a brake stand, spinning the back tires while having one foot on the brake. <laughs> 